That wasn't. All right. I don't know how long this thing is going to last. I think it, it timed me out. Um, but here, here are the continuing resolutions with the money, the, the appropriations in the blue for the full year. See, see, when I get in, I don't have to worry about it because they've already appropriated the money for the whole year. And some of them they appropriate for two years until it comes up to vote again. This is why I say I don't have to go back before Congress. And then the main one, let me show you. This is from the clerk, officially from the clerk. And this is the bill. Like the lady, she called me a liar. And she said she's retired and I'm a liar. Well, guess what, lady? I'm retired too and I'm not a liar. Here it is right here. It is right there. The, 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 the first time they did it, it failed. And it was voted yay. And then and to yes, yes, the yay here means recommitted to send it back because it failed in Congress. Excuse me. If a bill fails in Congress, then it's it's dead. Right? It's done. It can't, you don't got the, the votes. Well, they wanted it to be recommitted or reinstated, you know. They reinstated it uh, and, and the House of Representatives took it up again. They took another vote on it because the Senate said, no, we want it to be like this. And then the Democrats and the Republicans and the Senate said, OK, we're happy with this version of it. Send it back and let's see if the House passes it. So the House said, well, yeah, let's 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 put it back in there. Now we'll take a vote on it. So the vote is to prohibit individuals who are not citizens of the United States from voting in elections in the District of Columbia. Now, the vote. This vote says no. That's not what no means. That's not what no means. They the rest of this, if you click on this, it's do, are we going to allow the District of Columbia to prevent citizens uh, um a migrants prohibited prohibit individuals are they going to prohibit individuals from uh, who who are not citizens? It literally says it. Are they going to prohibit individuals who are not citizens? Are they going to prohibit them from voting in elections in the District of Columbia? No, they're not going to prohibit them. They're going to allow them. So if it was no, they would have said yes. Yes, we're going to prohibit prohibit them from voting in elections. And you know what the issue was? They had to establish, not get a job, because that's one of the requirements, but they had to establish residency in the state and in the District of Columbia, or if you're in Puerto Rico, you have to establish it there. Uh, if you're in Hawaii or Guam, you have to establish residency over there, and then you can vote. So if you read it and you don't understand what it's asking you, and you see the word no, it looks like it was voted down. No, they're saying they're not going to prohibit the individuals from voting, meaning they are going to let them. So, lady, I have no reason to lie to you. I have just as much at stake running for president of the United States. I should be relaxing. I have other shit to do, but I... I know that in four years, I would not run again because of my age. Um, not because I'd be too old, but just because I'd be too too old and, you know, and uh, older in my age that I wouldn't want to deal with this. Now I'm still in my 50s. I still got the spunk and the life in me and the energy to do it. Um, though sometimes physically, not, not always the physical capability of doing other things. But that's the thing about being president of the United States. I, I don't physically need to type. I don't wore these fingers out. Typing. Flat, uh, yeah. Yeah. When you use your hands and your, your limbs for 20, 21, 25 years. I'm retired. Da, 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 da. So the fuck am I? I'm retired too. That's why I have the ability to run for president. 
But no, to prohibit individuals who are not citizens of the United States from voting in elections in the District of Columbia. They overturned a law in the District of Columbia. What happened to the separation of the states, and the state and the federal? They make you learn that. Mm-hmm. As long as the state or the district does not do anything that infringes upon the rights, the federal rights of a citizen, you can't. The, the higher courts, Congress can't make a law abridging the right to do that. That's why all the states and the District of Columbia joined the union. What union? The United States Union. That's why we're a democracy. Now, these people are overstepping their bounds. How are you going to tell Washington, D.C., they can't make a law that gives uh, people who illegally walked into this country the right to vote? Let's just say that they're migrants and they came in, the, you know, the wrong way, and then they became migrants. You still got to go through the process. You can't, you can't just bypass who, what the requirements are and how long you have to live in the country before you can vote. This is how a country gets taken over. And people look at me and all this bullshit about me being in my late 20s. And uh, No, no, come on. All right, have it your way. But I'm going to call this heifer's office. And I'm going to find out what's going on. Because she says she's a community activist. So am I. I've been a community activist. I didn't just start. When I was in prison for crimes I didn't commit, I was a community activist. That's why they beat my ass. So for people of you that are out there, um, when I ask for signatures, I'm just covering up people's signature. Um, Those of you who have signed thus far, um, I put this tape over it. So, and then I put a piece of tape going down the thing so it doesn't come off because I don't want anybody to see your address other than the secretary of state. So those of you who who are concerned, um, I had one lady, she didn't want to put her address it turns out her husband came right behind her, so the address is there anyway. But um, I, I believe there were Indian um, people, thank you so much, who voted for me uh, yesterday. Well, there was another Indian guy. He was ready, and he was ready to go when I was down there in, um, I think, Roselle last week. He was like, let's go. Get rid of all of them. Yes. <laughs> He wanted to make sure what party I was with because he, you know, nobody's really messing with the the Republicans. But um, there's a set of Republicans that are just like the set of Democrats and they lazy ass. And I can't express how we need to be voting in someone like us that's going to take care of us. All right, I got to go. I got to go. I'm tired. I got to go. My phone keeps ringing, ringing. No, the answer is no. (laughs) Have a good day.